Lou, this is a reunion uh, somewhat for you being back here in Texas filming and stuff. Why don't you explain that to us? Well, it's a reunion in a lot of ways, Larry. Uh, still consider myself a Dallas actor, always will. A lot of the press that's come out uh, reflecting the good fortune I've had has also mentioned the fact that Dallas is my home, it's my home base, and uh, I'm once again at home doing what I do, and that's acting. The other thing about it is that I'm again working with uh, Daryl and Frank Kuntz, the Kuntz brothers, and Fred Holmes, uh, and it's come full circle, sort of. The first film I ever did was Angel Alley with, uh, with this group of people, including the, uh, the director of photography and a lot of the, uh, the crew members. And uh, whether it's been on the Kuntz Brothers films or not, I have worked with uh, a majority of the crew people out here. So it's good to work with friends again, and it's good to be back in Texas uh, working on something I believe in. Okay, Lou, uh, you play Dakota in the movie <laughs> Dakota in Texas. Uh, tell us about Dakota. Dakota. Uh, his name is John Dakota, and I've pretty much been touting this film as uh, an officer and a gentleman meets a rural John Hughes kind of thing because it's, uh, it's a story about a loner with a lot of, um, I don't know, at a crossroads. A lot of the characters are at a crossroads. Dakota's running from, a, from his past. Uh, not to give away too much of the plot of the film, but he's done something in his life that he can't forgive himself for uh, and ends up in a small town in Texas. There is the uh, lead actress, Dee Dee Norton, who is a local actress, very wonderful actress, uh, who is also at a crossroads, uh, and she becomes his love interest eventually. And uh, it's, it's just a very, very interesting character, a character with a lot of pain in his past, but at the same time, somebody who's uh, very extroverted and uh, with a sense of humor and very complex. And I appreciate that as an actor, uh, and it's one of the big reasons why I chose uh, this film over a, a few other things that were offered to me in Los Angeles. Lou, how did you get started? Uh, it goes back to uh, going to college and majoring in theater at the University of Texas at Arlington, then starting to do professional stage work out in Fort Worth at Stage West, uh, which was my professional stage home, and then meeting Adam Rourke, who still uh, has his film actor's lab out here. He trained me, and I have to say that he has been uh, my mentor, my teacher, my friend, advisor, everything. The man is uh, more so than probably anyone else in the Metroplex knowledgeable about uh, film because because of his experience in front of the, in front of the camera and behind the camera uh, and I taught at the film actors lab for three years which uh, again helps me to understand the other side of the camera which is why I intend to associate produce hopefully direct one day uh, and write and things like that I know that uh, Lou Diamond Phillips is a star of Dakota in Texas and and is working on this project, but you also have another project coming out. Lou, tell us about La Bamba. Everybody's talking about it, buzzing about it. You may be one of the new Brad Packers, all this good stuff. <laughs> Brad Packers, I don't know about that, Brad Packers. Uh, I, I, think, I think that's by invitation only, the Brad Pack, you know. <laughs> Sean, I don't know. But um, La Bamba is, was an incredible stroke of good luck. I mean, it was uh, a real blessing, and it was like uh, out of the blue, you know which is why I needed to stay in Los Angeles and uh, continue to uh, capitalize on the effect it's had. It's, it's a wonderful picture and I have seen it. And uh, it's the life story of Richie Valens who had a relatively short life, but in the amount of time he had, his effect on the world and on music and the birth of rock and roll was phenomenal. He was the first Chicano rock star. Uh, and he died in the plane crash with Buddy Holly and the Big Bopper uh, February 3rd, 1959. He was 17 years old. And the time that he was, uh, between he was discovered and the time that he died, uh, was an eighth month period in which he had three top 40 hits. Uh, it's just, it's, it's very difficult to explain because a lot of people know his music but they don't know the man. And that's what the story's about. It's not a, a rock and roll movie that, uh, keeps cutting between a lot of MTV music video sequences. What it is, is there's a very strong story about a man with a dream who did not let success affect him or his, uh, the way he felt about people and um, how, he, how he held himself. And while we were on location with Dakota in Texas, we ran into one of the co-stars, Irving's very own Jordan Burton. How does it feel to be the co-star of a major motion picture? Well, it's a really good opportunity for me because I really want to be an actor when I grow up and it's just a great opportunity to be in a full-length motion picture. How long have you been acting? Uh, what roles have you played? Have you done other jobs? Well, mostly all the other stuff is commercials, uh, print work, and I started in uh, September of 85 when I signed up with Tiny Blair Agency. I know here on the set, uh, 
you're not the only Burton person uh, that's on the set today. Some of your, the rest of your family from Irving is involved in this project. Uh, who else is here with you? My father, Leonard Burton, and my brother, Luke Burton. He's also in the business. He's been doing it as long as I have, and uh, he's done some commercials and stuff. And my mom, Boo Burton. Jordan, it's really great to have you, and congratulations on being the co-star. Thanks.